Prayer, Confession, and Prophecy, Lessons from Daniel Chapter 9, Exploring the Book of Daniel. Hello and welcome to another episode of Exploring the Book of Daniel. In this episode, we will be discussing the ninth chapter of the Book of Daniel, which is one of the most important and prophetic chapters in the entire book. Chapter 9 begins with Daniel reading the prophecies of Jeremiah, which stated that Jerusalem would be desolate for seventy years. Daniel realizes that the time of captivity is almost over and decides to pray to God, confessing the sins of the people of Israel and asking for forgiveness. Daniel's prayer in this chapter is a model of confession and intercession, as he humbly acknowledges the sins of his people and asks God for mercy and forgiveness. He acknowledges that God is righteous and just, but also merciful and compassionate, and asks him to hear his plea and restore the city of Jerusalem. In response to Daniel's prayer, God sends the angel Gabriel to give Daniel a prophetic vision of the future. This vision is known as the Seventy Weeks Prophecy, which is one of the most important prophecies in the entire Bible. The prophecy predicts the coming of the Messiah, who will be cut off and have nothing, and the destruction of the Temple, and the city of Jerusalem. It also predicts a time of great tribulation for the people of Israel, which will last for seventy weeks of years. While the seventy weeks prophecy is difficult to understand and interpret, it is clear that it refers to the coming of Jesus Christ and the establishment of the new covenant. The Messiah would come and be cut off, but then rise again and establish a new covenant between God and his people. Daniel chapter 9 teaches us several important lessons about prayer, confession, and prophecy. Firstly, it teaches us the importance of confession and repentance, as Daniel humbly confesses the sins of his people and asks for God's forgiveness. Secondly, it teaches us the power of intercession, as Daniel prays on behalf of his people and God responds by sending Gabriel with a prophetic vision. Finally, the chapter teaches us about the nature of prophecy, which is often difficult to understand and interpret. However, we can trust that God's prophecies will be fulfilled, just as the prophecy of the seventy weeks was fulfilled in the coming of Jesus Christ. In conclusion, Daniel chapter 9 is a powerful and prophetic chapter that teaches us important lessons about prayer, confession, and prophecy. We can learn from Daniel's example of humility and intercession, and trust in the promises of God's prophetic word. Thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in to the next episode of Exploring the Book of Daniel.